Hi guys, Monta Douglas here, I'm GB bobslayer and former international sprinter for Great Britain. I'm here to show you guys uh, this PE session for you. Today we're going to be looking at how to set up a workout. So you can set your own sessions and figure out all the components that take you to go from the warm up all the way to the cool down. We'll show you exactly how to go through it and how to plan each of the steps. So guys, one of the first things you want to do is make sure that you have your equipment and planning ready. Make sure you know exactly what you want to do for your session. Okay, is it going to be aerobic session? Is it going to be a drills and skills session? Is it going to be a technical session? That's really important to make your running session, whatever session you've got doing, go smoothly. Okay guys, so for the first part, you're going to want to make sure all your equipment is ready as you can see lined up here. So I've got my mat already laid out and ready to go. And I could go through my bag and show all the components that I'll need for the session. So you might want to see participants that need some water perhaps. For this session, I'm definitely going to need some cones because I'm doing the drills and skills session. So I'm going to make sure I've got that. And also you might want to bring in some extra elements. For example, I've got some bands that I could be using for the stretching. And ensuring that you've got a range of different pieces of equipment for your session will make your session go beautifully. After you've got your completely planned out, you know exactly what we're going to run and what you're going to be teaching. Today I'm going to be doing for you some drills and skills. So it's really important that I have my cones ready to be marked out. I know what I'm going to be delivering. But I first need to go for the components and start with the warm up. So guys, part of the warm up can be anything from jogging on the spot as you can see here you can even change it up and do some skips on the spot but essentially the warm-up is a pulse raiser so you want to get that heart rate right up there and the body needs to feel warm like you can even incorporate exercises that are part of the session for example if you have a circuit you can start with star jumps some squats and some lunges to get the body moving so guys, we're doing our stretches, we're getting moving around. Now you're going to need some types of equipment. Equipment is really important. We've said earlier that we want to get planning, so we know what session we're doing. We've done our warm-up and we now want to make sure that we've got everything we need to fulfill our stretches. Sometimes things like bands or cones equipment are the things you're going to need to make your session run smoothly. Now when thinking of stretches and what stretches you're going to do, remember the type of exercise you're trying to do. If particularly you're doing a circuit session, which consists of a series of exercises back to back with a limited rest, and you're working maybe for time or for reps, you want to then look at the kind of exercise you're going to be using and the muscles you're going to be working and then work that into your warm up. There is no point you working on your legs and getting them really, really flexible when you're doing an upper body workout. It makes no sense. So what you want to make sure is that you're linking up your warm up stretches and your warm up pulse raiser in the two your session and getting the target areas that you really want to achieve okay so the next part of the warm-up can incorporate some stretches so stretches come in a range of different types so stretching can be ballistic dynamic as you can see here or passive stretching but you want to make sure that your stretches are incorporated and are in line with the type of session you're doing so for today because we're going to do a drills and skills session we're running around i've made sure i've incorporated a lot of mobility in the warm-up so just because the warm up is the running around, you have to make sure that we're also incorporating some stretching to get the muscles lengthened and moving in accordance to kind of motion that you want to do for your session. So for the next part of the warm up, after I've done some stretches, you'll see here now I'm marking out some spacing to get some drills in. So drills are a chance for you to practice the movement of your exercise, like I said today going to be doing a drills and skills and sprint session so i would be doing some a skip b skips some high knees and some straight leg bounds to get my body really warmed up for the exercises ahead so we've done our warm-up we've done our stretches and we've done our drills now we're ready to go into the bulk of the session <laughs> Now the session very much depends on the type of group you're working with. If you're working with beginning of year seven, starting off in secondary school and you want to ease them into some like circuits, or perhaps you're doing like GCSE year 10 and they have to do specific technical skills and drill session. You're going to want to figure out exactly who your target audience is, who is it that you're training today and what kinds of things are you going to get them to be doing and then section your session around that. Okay, so next I'm going to take you through then a series of things you could think about. Now you could do a technical drills and skills session. Maybe this session looks just like you're doing 
doing um, technical drills and they might not be getting fatigued but the main aim of this is to ensure that they're getting enough recovery that they can perform the task maybe it's a balls basketball or netball skills session or a tennis session make sure you have the right equipment that you need for that kind of session and then schedule it otherwise maybe we're going to look at doing a circuit session now a circuit is some a series of exercises that you do it may be bodyweight circuit it may be using equipment but essentially you do the workout for a period of time on reps and you have shorter recovery now you can do interval training so for example we could do a circuit right now of squats into press-ups into lunges into burpees and finish with star jumps we could do that for 30 seconds on 30 seconds off for time and then have one minute in between the sets and we'll show you exactly what that would look like gone through our circuit as you can see there was 10 of each exercise in concession so they're going back to back and then you have a minute rest and then you can go again that's just an example of what you could do for a circuit and that progresses on now always think about how you can make your session more difficult or easier for your participants anyone that's taking part in something maybe you've got a range of abilities within a class or within a group you want to ensure that everyone is getting maximum benefit out of the session but they don't feel too disheartened that it's getting a little bit tricky for some of them always have things that are in your planning stage you can easily make it a little bit more easy for them or you can make it a little bit more challenging for example no rest in between the sets of the circuits and have less recovery in between the reps so you do it back to back all the way through until you finish so always have those kinds of things in your locker ready for the next stage so guys for the cool down what you want to do essentially is decrease your heart rate you want to lower your heart rate we warmed it up in the beginning but now we just want to calm it right down to get us to cool down as you can see here i'm doing some dynamic stretches very much in the way that we did in the warm-up but just at a lot slower and longer pace you can also do jogging skipping but anything that will bring your heart rate down and cool you down will work perfectly fine so it's stretching time this part of the session is a really nice time for the group to reflect reflect on how the session's gone but more most importantly to stretch those muscles out get them back to the condition they were when you started off now really target the areas that you've used most in the session whether it's legs or arms make sure you're hitting those target areas calm that body right down and essentially this will help you really recover from the session that you've just done thank you so much for for joining me it's been absolutely brilliant hope you've enjoyed it so you have learned all the components of what makes a really good workout you know you can design your very own workout with confidence and efficacy making sure that your session is as efficient and as effective as possible for whoever it is you're delivering it to so i hope you had fun and i hope you enjoyed this PE lesson so your homework for this session yes guys there is homework the task i want you to do is to devise your own workout practice makes permanent and practice makes perfect so the more you do it the better you you'll become at it if you can design a workout around whatever it is of your choice and incorporate all of those elements you will find that your coaching and your teaching will become second to none it'll be absolutely fantastic and you'll enjoy the process a lot more once you figure out it is exactly what you're doing so please have fun with your homework tag us hope you've enjoyed this p lesson from british bobsleigh and um, really enjoyed doing this for you guys and hope to see your workouts